okay, your X1 battery has an issue. It's either not powering the bike or it's not charging. So let's start with the battery can't power the bike. So first step is check if you get something here that only means the cells are okay and the wiring inside is okay. It does not mean that the BMS is good. So take your meter, set it to voltage. Whoop, you need to turn it on. Whoop, reverse polarity. So I get 50.9 volts. If let's say you would get something under 35, that would mean the BMS is in fault. If you get something close to zero, it's possibly just a switch here. So the way to test it is set your meter in continuity and then poke the two black wires coming off the switch. There's no voltage on it, so there's no risk. Just poke through the really thin insulation and you get a beep. If you turn it off, doesn't be. That means the switch is okay. If the switch is bad on yours and you don't have a switch like this, you can just bypass it. Cut the two wires, twist them together, the battery will always be on. There's no issue with that. The, the switch is just like, it's not essential. Most like bigger batteries, they don't have a switch. Now, if the switch is good, still get nothing, you can remove the bottom, there's an XT60 connector, and there's also two wires soldered to the terminals, and there's also another wire going to the fuse, and another wire going to the uh, charge port, and here. So just make sure they're still soldered to the terminals there, and make sure the fuse, which is like a car fuse, uh, just make sure it's still uh, okay. You can inspect it visually. It will probably be potted in uh, odd glue and possibly also black RTV. So you might need to clean it up a little, but that's for the bottom. Now, if after all this, the battery still does not work, you try to jump start, it's still zero, or it's dropping the voltage all the time, that means Maybe the BMS is defective. The BMS is right here. I won't show you. Uh, it's a specific BMS. It's really hard to swap it with something else. So please contact Luna Cycle if you get an issue like this. So let's now focus on the charge port. Let's say your battery is not charging. That could be BMS in fault. Or it could be that little connector here. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you should get them. The reason is simple. If your barrel port, port sorry, is damaged on your charger, you can replace it with these, or it's a lot easier to test the battery. You just plug it in, go into voltage mode, and check if you got the same voltage. I got 50.9. You should be getting the exact same voltage as the discharge. If you're not getting the exact same thing, like it's a volt lower, that means BMS is in fault. If you get zero, that means you need to replace the barrel port. The barrel, if you don't have a barrel port, you will need to poke the wiring, locate the red and the black. It will be probably be easier for you if you get someone to help you and try not to poke your skin. <laughs> Mine are extremely pointy, and just for the sake of the video, because I can't put my head like in front of the camera, I'll try to poke it. There you go. I got 50.9. So that means the BMS is not in fault and the charge board is working. So. These are the like most common faults. Charge port broken, switch is damaged, maybe a solder joint broke here, uh, or the BMS is in fault. If it's in fault, it does not mean it's dead. It maybe means 
like I don't know the switch went bad and a few like switch on and off tripped the BMS or maybe you got a big spark when you plugged in the charger you forgot to plug the charger into the wall first and then you plugged in uh, the battery directly and it it arced that could have tripped the BMS so the first step is jump start in that case so hope that helps <laughs>